Hello and welcome to another episode of Top Deck, the series where we take a look at some of the leading TCG deck lists. On today I have with me Josh. Hey Josh. Hello, how are we doing? Good, thank you. How are you? I'm doing alright. Yourself? Yeah, yeah, good. So today we're taking a look at your plunder list, yes. which you have been using in the prestigious Pulsar Games Facebook group to win tons of very nice bits of cardboard. Oh, I, I've been doing it ever since that, that Facebook page started up, really. Just been building yeah. it from there. Okay, so before we actually look in the uh, specifics of the list, why have you been playing so much Blender Patrol? I've basically been playing this deck since it came out, and before this, I was playing Christrons on and off for two years. Mm. And I like, it has a very similar art style where you can kind of semi build the board on your turn and then properly gain advantage whilst interrupting your opponent on your opponent's turn. Mm -hmm. And pick it. Plunder does that, but better. So I've basically been falling in love with the deck ever since, constantly changing and evolving it. I nice. Guess. Okay. And uh, do you think that there are any like major developments that it's going to have in the future, or do you think this kind of list that we're looking at right now, do you think yeah, this is the like the the staple? Do you think it's going to change at all? Um, pff, there's a lot of vari variants with this list. There's a um, there's a Phantom Knight version, which is really nice. Mm -hmm. um, currently, there's a new level eight Fiend Synchro coming out soon, which could be a nice little mainstay in this deck and could alter the ratios and that. But then we're also just seeing how support goes. There could always be cheeky bits of support, but there's always there's always going to be change. Yeah, sure. Uh, okay, so let's start off by just running through the list quickly. Uh, so Ash is the first card, so let's do Hand Trap. So Triple Ash, Triple Gamma, uh, Triple Imperm, and then you've also got the Droplets as additional disruption. Um, any particular reasoning behind these? I mean, it's kind of hard to say that these aren't staple at this point, right? Yeah, of course, they are mainstays, and personally, if you're, I just see them as like the mainstays. Gamma can be an extender to go into Halky Firebrax. Mm -hmm. It can start making you into a new plunder. Because in instance, brand is generic, you can just go straight into Brand, Gamma and drive it into Brand and start doing plunder stuff from there, or it's just more interruption. So a little synergy there. Droplets mm -hmm. is kind of the mainstay, as this deck can hard lose to Dragoon. Okay. So And that's that's mainly why Droplets, as expensive as it is, you need it. Yeah. And you can't play Nibiru in this type of deck, right? You just, you need that body on board. Yeah. Uh, you have, um, the only other time Nibiru can, you can properly do Nibiru is, say if you have, your opponent has a board, mm -hmm. and you activate Redbeard, you can chain the Nibiru in your hand, you make your board, get rid of the board, summon the Nibiru and token, summon your, your boat, then Redbeard will activate, equipping the boat, and that's the only other time where it could be beneficial to have Nibiru main decked. Yeah, okay. Um, and for that reason, you decided to stick it in the side deck then? You just, because um, that situation I assume doesn't come up often no, enough. It's, no, it's... Nibiru is kind of much people people know about Nibiru too much now so mm -hmm. holding on to Nibiru for ages can just be a dead draw so it's best to side it in when you feel like you can take the most advantage of it okay yeah sure um and then we've actually got the uh the plunder names so triple blue beard triple golden hair triple red beard you've already mentioned that and triple white beard mm -hmm. um does the monster lineup ever change or you know is it just all play them all only if you're playing a different version, like the Phantom Knight version I was saying earlier. But the rest, you have to play for your features. All of them are amazing mm. at what they do. They can be starters like Redbeard and Whitebeard, they're starters. Golden has also a star and extender. Bluebeard's an extender and cycling through. They're all amazing in their own right. And in my mind, you need to play for each. Sure. Okay. Um, and then on to spell lineup. So, double emblem. Um, does this ever get played at three? Yes, I used to play it free for a while, but then it, it, what it is is it can offer protection against your boat, and it can also be an extender. So mm -hmm. a lot of times with decks such as Sky Striker, if you equip Bran with an emblem, they can't target it, and they'll have to very much do hard neg to try and out it, and by then you can win via resources. Yeah, It does that, and you can just... It, the protection is amazing, and the, amazing, the fact that you can special one from extra for free and give it a boost helps a lot. Seems like Konami's printing a lot of stuff that gives you uh, the ability to special some random stuff from the extra deck for free at the moment. In the words of the wise, it's free real estate. <laughs> Can't argue with that. <laughs> um, then we've got double um, ship, 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 shipping. You actually said it first time, well done. <laughs> I think that was the first time I've ever written that card. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is... 
I like this card. Um, what this can do is this can this and two any two plunders can be Halky Firebrox combo, mm -hmm. and it's also being the graveyard effect is amazing. You equip emblem to okay, or a plunder patrol monster. Okay, okay. Yeah. Nice. Right, so the scenario would be is you fuse any two plunders, make lists, and then you would use the effect of shipping, equip golden hair to it, mm -hmm. then use the effect of list to especially in golden hair, and that's your Halky Firebrox right there. Nice. That's pretty cool. It doesn't feel too resource intensive to do that. For two, well, yeah, that's why I'd rather not do it, but it's always situational. Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay. Um, and then a triple ship yard. <laughs> free yard. The free yard are the mandatory to say. <laughs> exactly. Uh, so this is just an additional searcher, right? Um, this is one of the best cards in the deck as well, where so you're discarding all your, sh your shipping or something like that, get your real estate, and then just. You, being able to like discard it off Moak or something like that and add, set it back again mm. it's really nice it yeah. has just synergy with shipping as well where you can banish it equip white beard to a, a plunder effective yard and graveyard add back the white beard and set the filter <laughs> you can basically add two cards from deck to hand each turn and it just gets better and better wow yeah that, that seems really crazy when you consider like if you look at the other sort of controlly decks I don't think very many of them can add two cards to hand every turn <laughs> It's very, it, it was very tight knit deck, and that's one of the reasons why I do like keep playing it. Yeah, sure. And um, with that, then you know, you say how great it is the the shipyard. Mm -hmm. Um, you play the one terraforming. Would you consider set rotation as well, or do you think it's? Not I used to play set rotation with divide with the gates of the dark world, so you can just banish fiends and discard to draw a card. Okay, that's that was cool. I really wanted to play yard, but mm -hmm. back then you didn't have bluebeard or golden hair. So now you've got bluebeard and golden hair, you're not. You can get away with just the free. Okay. Okay, sure. Um, then desires. I mean, there's nothing you care about banishing apart from driver, right? Yeah, but by then you you hope you you're hopefully you're winning. skilled enough not to banish it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just be skillful and uh, be don't draw two don't draw two gammas off it, and you'll be fine. Yeah. <laughs> that was um, and then triple booty one pride. Um, so booty is the, kind of like the free advantage card right booty is like the, the call haunted you change your attributes it's the only one card good card that helps you against decks like zodiac or madolce stuff like that. they are the your worst matchups and if you can get to booty quicker you have a fighting chance mm. um, uh pride is yeah. amazing as well where you can look at your opponent's extra deck and send stuff like dragoon mm -hmm. Where that in itself, because most players only play one Dragoon, so you can send it off, and uh, when you try and telegraph it with the Yaliconda, yeah, you yeah, can yeah. basically win out straight. Yeah, that's pretty crazy, actually. I mean, you have to set it up, fuck, right? But that's it's not it's not an awful lot to actually prepare. No, it's not. It's just a, it's just a trap card, and as well, you can just keep it up on mm. the field, and it gives you with yard, it gives you stuff five hundred attack, and that helps with the grand game because you can attack over stuff, draw cards, look at the hand. Yeah. Do stuff like that, it's nice. Do you do, do you hit a lot of uh Dragon Link extra decks with Pride? Um only if it's benefit well, mainly maybe the Halky Firebrax, if I can bait out the Romulus. Mm -hmm. That's the only other time, but Dragon Link is a difficult matchup as <laughs> it has seventeen million extenders. That's where you hope for the side deck and you try and get win it from there. Yeah, yeah. Okay. We'll get onto the side shortly. Let's do extra first. Um so double this um i'm just so i'm gonna do planet names first so double s double bran uh double merg triple uh, blackbeard um so blackbeard is a card that gives you it's like your easiest one to make in order to blackbeard generate is, extra stuff right Blackbeard's kind of your extender mm -hmm. where you can keep equipping stuff drawing cards yeah it's, it's it's your gateway into the other ones but apart from white beard and red beard yeah okay um any you, is there any reason to change the ratios from the the two 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 and then the three for for Blackbeard? I've always debated on playing free Moak or free Liss, but right now I kind of like the deck as as it is. It feels right. You if you can you can usually get away with two because you can recycle stuff with booty. Mm, okay. Yeah. So as long as you've got, I mean, you, you've got three of them available. So as long as you've got one life, you should should be fine, right? Yeah, that's mainly it. That's as long as you can keep recycling that, you can win. You can you can win from there. Mm, okay, um, and then you got the Firebrax engine to go with. Uh, so you go into your Linkross, and then you get to your March Herald place. 
Uh, the the only event ever, I guess, variant in this from where you summon your Link Cross, you basically summon Gamma from Hulk Firebox, and then you make Link Cross, you make mm -hmm. the two tokens, you summon Marcher, and you can summon either Whitebeard or Golden Hair from the graveyard. So by then, you can make the Herald and make a Blackbeard and extend from there. Yeah, okay, that's pretty cool. That's yeah, the only yeah. little bit of variance, yeah, I guess, which you can do with this. Yeah, that's nice. Um, okay. And then you've also got the Aura Whale. Aye. Does this he come is. up a lot? Oh god, yeah. He is so good. Um, you can... Uh, many, many of the scenarios is where you can normal summon White Beard, Freshman Blue Beard, make the, blue, make the Whale, Chain Block it so you can make Blue Beard Chain Link free, and they can't really respond okay. to the Whale, apart from Imperm and such. But by then, it's they've already lost so much resources. And because this attacks twice and pierce, uh, you can say for, yeah, it just <laughs> double attacks twice and pierce and just a mean amount of damage. And it floats, it floats back, it keeps coming back. Yeah, that's so crazy. It just does a lot. The only other thing I've ever played this, with, apart from this, is Dragite, the Adamant's Pit of level eight synchro. Yeah. Because it's the 3,000, so you can straight crash into Dragoon. Yep. yep. And it's a spell chop negate. Okay. Um, on the topic of just going back to the Fibrax, um, does this come up a lot? Do you summon Fibrax a lot? If I can, this is my this is my go-to way. Turn one, try and make the try and end my make my end board is Herald with Blackbeard, and if I've summoned the Whitebeard, Whitebeard effect would flow into a Redbeard, hmm. and you'd leave it on that. Okay. As Herald can be really oppressive against stuff like dinosaurs because they can't discard miscellaneous or or yeah. And they just can't foolish stuff, so it, it's quite oppressive against certain decks, and it's just an omni negate. And your deck doesn't really suffer from the like macro effect of Herald, really, does it? Uh, a little bit. It depends what you're really discarding off your Moaks and your brands, but if you discard spells and traps, it's fine. Yeah. Okay. It hurts, but it would hurt them more. Sure. Um, last card in the extra is the Amarash. Um, it really makes sure. <laughs> uh, with Golden Hair, it's with Amarash, it becomes a one card black beard. So okay. you know when you golden hair, you make the Almiraj, use the effect of golden hair, discard a card, special on it back. Yeah. In a pinch, it 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 is it, it works. It just it really does well. Mm -hmm. And again, so you can always there's been weird scenarios where I've made Almiraj previously in the game. Normal summon something crashed, brought the Almiraj back, try and make Blackbeard. Okay. It, it it does it's done me enough to warrant keeping it in the extra. Yeah, sure. Um are there any changes you would make to the extra or are you pretty happy with it? Currently, I'm really happy with it. I'm thinking when the level 8 Fiend Synchro comes out, maybe give that a try. But apart from that, yeah, I am, I'm happy with it so far. Cool. Okay. Uh, on to the side deck then. Aye. I'm seeing Triple Chaos Hunter. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I have not is... seen Chaos Hunter for a while. <laughs> I, I absolutely love this card right now. Um, it's really good against lots of decks, but I guess the main synergy is obviously you've got your Dinos, you've got your I'm trying to think that many of our decks that banish and they always usually special summon so you can just special summon the chaos hunter and discard your plunder stuff so you can have graveyard synergies like white beard special summon a red beard from deck and start going yeah and especially with buster blade becoming more and more of a thing if they normal summon the whelp special summon into the link rebo you activate chaos hunter <laughs> yeah. they can't do can't stuff do with memories and, that. <laughs> and that's that, that's why especially this is against dinos as well if they activate lost world they summon the token Mm, yeah. yeah, that's that's pretty nice. And yeah, I guess that's... you don't really worry too much about the the discard. You have so many like sure it's costing you two cards to put this floodgate on board, but your deck just with generates so much advantage. Uh, and yeah, with white big it could become an advantage. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's pretty crazy. <laughs> uh okay, and then you've got Pancratops, which is obvious. Um <laughs> Yeah, he's 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 a good he's he helps. I wonder what decks you don't play Pancratops in the, this format. Probably isn't anything. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to think of something. No, that's it. Yeah. That's um, it. I think. It's just, it's just, you just have to play it. Um, it's just nice. Would you, um, on the topic of monsters you can special summon from your hand to gain ridiculous advantage, Aye. are you considering Alpha in this deck? I, however, I just, it's very expensive and I'd rather... <laughs> If I was going to play this, and then I'd if play Alpha, and then when stuff gets open again, I would just feel a bit lackluster without the Alpha. And right yeah. now, I feel Pinecrystops is just it's good enough to slot into the extra. It's side deck, I mean. Yeah. 
still okay. more than enough so it's fine sure um Nibiru we've already discussed so I'll just skip that unless you got anything else extra on it um not really I mean usually against Dragon Link Gamma or I guess a lot of combo decks Gamma Nibiru shuts them down yeah so I guess that's mainly it I guess yeah sure um and then triple cyclone so as i understand it some of the like grindier decks can be a bit of an issue right yeah with um which is why i guess a lot of the decks like um your alter guy this guy striker the more of the control decks like your dogmatic builds as well that's when he starts pushing his decks to a bit of a limit mm -hmm. but cyclone helps out a lot as well for that okay and of course, you got the Feather Duster back in. That I will. Be nice. it's, it's a four card package of which I will usually take out if I'm ever going second again. Equally good decks. Yeah. Um, and then for going first, you've got the Order and the Triple mm. Summon Limit. So Summon I... Limit doesn't really hinder you, right? Except for the Fibrax plays. If I end up on Fibra, if I end up on Blackbeard, Herald, and uh, red beard with summon limit set turn <laughs> turn yeah. one. That'd be a hell of a start. That'd be a hell of a way to go. Yeah, and I don't, don't see what outs that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then usually, if I'm later on in the game, I can always summon twice on my turn, summon twice on their turn, and just keep going from there. Yeah, yeah, that's that's always great when you've got a mechanic that could just keep summoning in in your opponent's turn. It's so good. Aye, aye. I guess mainly the thing is, is the imperial order where. When you, uh, I think I remember seeing this where basically the main element of how you can win the game with this deck is not really with your spells, but mainly with like your monster effects, your, your Moworks, your Brands, your Lysses, and your White Beards. And Imperial Order, if you do that against the likes of Sky Striker or even more Invoked builds, that hurts them. That'll, that'll hurt them enough to spit away and win the game. Yeah. I think that's about it. Okay. Um, so that's it for the list itself. Hmm. Would you make any changes to the side deck before we talk about your rounds? That's it depends how the format's going to be. Um, if do, if zoos are going to become more of an issue later on in the format, I might have to change about some bits, see what would be more hurtful against them. But for now, right now in the format, I like I like this I like this side deck. Okay, yeah, cool. Let's talk about the events that you played then. So we mentioned. Um, a lot of your success with this deck has come from the Pulsar Games tournaments. Uh, nice. So if anyone doesn't know what they are, they're um, sort of like casually organized competitive events online in which you can win like high value cards or um, buyback events as well. Um, so they're generally like very competitively fought and like quite short in terms of number of rounds because it's kind of like four people who are all very competent at the game battle it out to try and take home this like one expensive card that kind of thing so mm. uh your success with this deck has come from what have we got here four four events i think i've got information for no, those are the ones i can remember i've done yeah. so many of them it's i've done so many of them since the beginning but you know I just keep I, I like i like playing trying to keep up and up against really competitive players a lot of the good players there have done well at, LC, at other events and just span off from there so learning off from the knowledge of them people I feel like has made me a better player yeah I think it's it's a really good thing to have especially when you get so much practice against people who are very competent at the game mm. you you just you're bound to pick up a lot and you can chat to them about different ways to play out different situations and... oh, yeah, of course yeah and um, I mean that's the thing with mainly against they always help with how to sign and how to get around and you can always debate and talk to them after games and yeah stuff like that and it makes you feel like a better part of a community yeah yeah i think that's really really good to have so um looking at the rounds then i'm gonna say it's it's hard to spot anything you have a particular weakness against um you're competent at beating eldlich buster blader which you've already mentioned dragon link mm -hmm. um what else have we got mermail was that an aye, aye. one? That was that was a good one. Um, from what I remember, Summon Limit came in very clutch, mainly against that game and <laughs> against. I think it was another game because I think I faced off off him in a couple of occasions, 
where stuff went my way. And whenever he tried to, I think it was one game where he deep seed looked at my hand mm -hmm. and I had Nibiru, Ash, Droplets, White Beard, Blue Beard. Okay. And he basically just looked at it and went, yeah, I can't beat that. Yeah. And <laughs> but it is one too is. many good cards in that hand. <laughs> yeah, that was, that was how it went a lot of the time. Mm -hmm. Um, was there any particular deck you felt like it was a struggle against? Yes, mainly two off the top of my head, which they don't do come up a lot in these tournaments, thankfully, but now I say that they're going to be popping up left, right, and center. Mainly Medulce and Zodiac, because how the deck likes to play off is off your opponent. So we don't, we only have access to light, water, dark, and fire. We have nothing against earth or fire, and against decks like Zoo or Medulce, where it's earth or nothing. Yeah. You kind of have to rely on resolve either on booty or just hand traps and hope for the best and try and hard make the stuff. And playing on a back foot from the get go is it can be it can be a struggle. Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm not really sure how you beat that apart from with hand traps that happen to be tailored for them, I guess. With great difficulty. Hey. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, uh, let, yeah. Let's just see what happens in uh, in future events then. Whether we start to see Madolce pick up in there. In that form, oh, no. if, there's, if there's an adult in a zoo spike up, I'll be fuming. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're, they're printing Zeus now, right? So um... yeah, that's the thing. The um, the tri brigade. So yeah. hopefully, and always a couple of them which are fire, and they have useful attributes, so they could always be good. Yeah, yeah. That's some weird thing about um, plunder as a deck. You just have so much reliance on your opponent playing but, particular but, attributes. That's the thing that because the Halky Fibrax package is so universally liked, as well as Dragoon. And as well as the hand traps like Ash and Gamma, mm. a lot of the times you've got a lot of good stuff and you can try and manipulate it with booty and pride. But obviously there's a lot of times where they just don't give you an inch. Yeah. Mm. In the future, are you going to be playing Plunder again? Yes, I am going to keep playing this now. I'm not, I'm never bored making this deck. There's always little tweaks and little ratios. And whenever I'm online or DB or any of the websites, it's always nice to hear people say, oh, this is what the deck does. Mm. And I'm always keep playing, and it's just nice to see people actually like reading the cards and saying, "Oh, I might give this a shot." Yeah, and it's always nice to try and boost up this deck as much as I can. But I am just one man, and I just like playing it. Well, just keep winning events, and then uh, I'm sure it will start taking off. It's fine, just don't lose. Yeah, easy. easy. <laughs> don't lose the die roll, and then don't lose game one, and then oh, don't lose game three. <laughs> that's how it is. It's just gotta be good. Yeah, exactly. Just play Yu-Gi-Oh. Play Yu-Gi-Oh. I don't know about that one, Chief, but we'll try. <laughs> as long as my opponent's not playing, it's fine. Fine, right, yeah. Just try and game one, do your thing, and then game two, rely on floodgates. What's the worst that can happen? Yeah. Right. Um, before we close off this interview, are there any shout-outs you want to make? I do have a couple, if that'll be all right. Yeah, go for it. Uh, I'd like to shout-out mainly my, my locals in the area. There'll be... Uh, Infinity Comics in Blackpool, Lazy Dragon Gaming in Blackpool, and Harley Quinn's in Preston. I've been to all three, and they're all bloody brilliant. I've been to all of them since for a few, few years now, and they're all really sound. And maybe in future times, if, if you can ever come to Blackpool and have say hi, it'd be nice. Me I personally, like... or just everyone watching? Everyone, really. Let's you know, do it. it. Let's, let's have a right. large crowd come up to... Uh... A large crowd, and we'll all be coughing at each other. See what happens. <laughs> we'll, um, we'll, we'll wait until after the pandemic. <laughs> oh, yeah, of course, of course. Um, I'd also like to shout out the YOS event coming up soon. I know I'll be playing something similar to this list popping up for then. If you're ever coming down, give it, give it a shot. It'd be always be good to play against competitive people. Yeah, it's looking like uh, we're actually starting to pick up players on that one, so it should be a really fun event. That's nice. That's what that's good to hear. Um, yeah. I don't want to shout out a friend of mine who's more interested in. He's doing started streaming. I think you've heard um, Owen Wilson. He's done a couple yeah. of the deck profiles here. Yep. And he started to do his Twitch TV slash Bob Toad. If you're ever there, he's he's in. He's a lot. He's a nice lad. He does his best. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. And I definitely think, check it out. I think that'll do me for now. <laughs> Great. Okay. Well, thanks very much for coming on and sharing your list. Um, what do you guys think about this list? Let us know in the comments section. Um, we can chat again to Josh and get some more information um, if you've got any questions. Thanks very much for watching. Thanks for coming on, Josh, and for sharing the list. Thank you very much. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next video.